Having the beams and columns assigned, we will assign fixities to the base joints and masses at the floor joints. Select the joints at the base of each column. Click the Assign tab and select Joint and then Restraint. In this example, the columns are fully restrained. Select the Fast Restraint that restrains the joint for both translation and rotation. Click OK. The symbol at the base of the columns change to indicate fully restrained joints. Now we'll assign the masses of each floor and distribute them to the joints of each floor. Assuming the weight of each floor is 1,200 kips, convert the units of weight to mass. So the mass is 3.11 kips seconds squared per inch. Now the floor mass may be distributed to each floor. The mass will be assigned to the left node of each floor. Click the Assign tab and select Joint, then Masses. Go down to the mass and enter 3.11 for local direction 1 and 2, which are lateral directions. The local 3 direction is vertical direction, which may cause problems in this example. Notice the units and kips inches. Click OK. Now the model indicates the masses at the left nodes. Next, assign slab constraints. We must do this because up to now the model only knows about the beams and not the floor slabs. The slab constrains all the joints along a floor level, which means that all these nodes must move together. Select the top level of joints, go to Assign Joint Constraints. Choose the constraint type Equal. Click Add New Constraint. Name it Floor 5. Select only translation in the X direction. Click OK. Click OK again. Click Assign Joint Constraints. Select Equal from the drop-down and click Add New Constraint. Name this Floor 4. Select Only Translation in the X Direction and click OK. Click OK again. This process should be repeated for the remaining floors. Now that we have defined the material, defined our members, fixed our base, defined our masses and floor constraints, we are ready to run a modal analysis. Click the play button on the toolbar. The modal case is set to run, so click run now. The frame must be saved to run the analysis. So save the frame to your favorite spot. The analysis has been run as SAP is displaying the deformed shape in the 3D view. This concludes this video.